Hey everybody, welcome out to the desert. A little windy out here today. And I have uh, come out to see Donnie to pick up my Ferrari 328 GTS, which has just finished its annual service. Oil change, fluid flush, check over, nut and bolt, that kind of thing. The car is good, and I've done 2,600 miles in it since uh, last year, which is good. But while we're here, we're gonna go inside and Donnie has taken apart my Lamborghini Countach engine and we're gonna see uh, what is going on inside that engine and how expensive this summer is gonna be. Dun 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 dun. Trevor, in the world of Donnie, in a world where Ferraris <laughs> and Lamborghinis are old and broken, <laughs> here we are, Donnie Calloway. Good morning. Zach is off doing some other things today, so I am by myself, and we have the camera pointed at the man, and my mostly disassembled V12 Countach engine. So we were last here about six weeks ago when we took the engine out of the car. That was and fun. That was fun. I really enjoyed that, Donnie. Yeah, that came and, out really uh, nicely. And so now you've had some time, some, some alone time with my engine. And uh, I am very excited to see what you have discovered. So why don't you take us through uh, my V12? All right. Um, <laughs> first thing, and this always bugs me. I'm going to critique as I do. Yeah. The rusty studs drive me nuts. They never have to be that way. And I found a, I found a whole host of them back here. This is for your bell housing. Mm. This, this, this is just that little nitpicking thing that drives me nuts. Um, tranny came out. Tranny's behind you. Here's your clutch. Trans looks, trans looks fairly clean. Yeah, here's my clutch. How does my clutch look? This clutch oh, was put in when I bought the car in 2018. So every, uh, every bit of, in theory, I was told. Nothing's happened to it. Huh? Nothing's happened to it. It's got a little moisture. Okay. And your face is nice. And usually, what, this is what nice looks like? Yeah, usually they get really chowdered and even scalloped. And if you're really nuts, they start to crack. Well, look, I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm not saying I'm anything special, but uh, I well, take care of clutches. I know how to drive a car. Yeah. So I, I take care of my clutches. I don't ride the clutch. Right. I, was, I was given plenty of warning about the fragility of Countach clutches. And so even if I didn't drive like I drive, I would take extra care in this clutch. And this is a serious clutch pack. And this is equivalent to a boxer, although a boxer has two discs. Hmm. So, you know, there's a, quite a difference, but it's like, this looks just like okay, the, the uh, boxer. Clutches. Yeah, no, you're good. But we were worried about the flywheel because the teeth were the teeth kind are, of chewed the up. The teeth are chowdered. So we need a new flywheel. Yeah. Okay. And on a side note, we've done a, a inventory of the parts that we've gotten so far for the suspension and everything. And we're still a third away from what we need. Sweet. A uh, flywheel, someone needs a, wind, uh, a door window for me, for their Countach, so I think I'm going to Italy in October. You know, and I just <laughs> remembered, I forgot to bring up the, uh, the scoop. Someone, a fan, 3D printed me that air scoop to, to duct air in through the window. Oh, really? I meant to bring it up to fit it, and I forgot. Oh, that I'm gonna have so to cool. give it. I'm going to have to get it FedEx. This thing I'm to see. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so here's the engine. We've got one bank of uh, head off. Yep. The head is over there on the table. So what are we looking at inside? So the first thing that jumps out at me, and I'm a real weirdo when it comes to engines and how everything works and what have you, we've got a real heavy mirror glaze here. Although you have next to no miles. 21,000 yeah, miles. Yeah, which has car. relatively no miles. There's also this weird lump that you can feel. Is it in all of them, the lump? Yeah, they're very from one to another. So that's your thrust because, uh -huh. you know, the piston's going back and forth and you have a, a thrust in this direction. The other thing is this is just a little too, it's just past. It, it's, at the, it's at the max, mm -hmm. if not a hair over. You can get pistons to do that, but to get a real good slap, it's like, okay, this is... Right. So does, um, that, does that mean my rings are no Well, it's now? a combo of rings 
and you know there's a little slop in the wrist pin it's just gone past but the thing that bugs me the primary thing is the glaze on the barrels Let's see if i can get it better if i can see it a little better you can still see a cross etch in there but usually you want a nice you want a nice even finish, but you don't want a full mirror. Okay. These are pretty mirrored. These are a little too mirrored. So what I'm going to do next, because I have to pull the block off right. to get to the lower seal. Right, because the block is, is sitting on the oil pan. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, um, you know, the orange RTV. Oh, yeah. And it's leaky. And, and this, yeah. This little layer here needs to be fixed. <laughs> right. true, true value special. Right, right. Anyways, so I'll be replacing, getting this, you know, also for the reseal. Right. But while I'm out there, now's the time to do it. Yeah. You saw the extent of what it takes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you wall the engines out. This is the, this is the wall you're in there, face. Yeah, so. This is where Donnie gets expensive. Yeah. The wall. <laughs> this, is the fun, this is the fun stuff. This is the wall you're in there for every, every car here has got a wall you're in there. <laughs> it's notorious. Yeah, yeah. It's so, it's a notorious okay. thing. So, have you taken the other head off yet? No, we'll take this off in a minute. Okay. But, so, we'll pull the block, mm -hmm. we'll take the crank, we'll take it apart, inspect bearings, inspect journals, inspect um, the crank itself. If it's a little iffy, we'll polish it. We'll pull the pistons, we'll put new rings, and we'll break the glaze on the barrels. So when this goes together, it'll be fresh and tight. So are we going to have these barrels refinished, or do we buy new barrels? Well, I'm going to mic everything. So what every, does that everything will be measured. Okay. Everything will be measured for the taper and the bore, the bore size, bore to piston. Okay. You know, if everything's within its tolerances or within its margin, we're good. Okay. So that's the other thing. So if every, and I, I, I'm betting on the low miles that we still have plenty of meat here. Okay. And we're not really removing any meat. If there's a difference, if that lump is really a thing, we'll then go in and cut and bore, hone, and then, then we'll reassemble. Is now a good time to do like a stroker crank or like an yeah. overbore right. and make a little extra power? You kind of like... already have that. <laughs> this is like the max of, of Countach. Yeah, this. right. We've got the, Here's the, the, plate. the spacer. The spacer plate is right here. And so you can see how much adds. higher. Yeah. Look at that. That's, that's how you go from that's a... Your stro that's, that's your stroker. <laughs> right. Well, that's how you go from a 4 liter to a 4.9 liter, right? Yeah. Crazy. All right, is, is this, this a 5.2? This might be 5.5. 5,000, yeah. 5,000, which I think 4.9. I don't remember. Italians like to just they like to take it right yeah, to the it's edge. It's a little extra. It's a little, but that's, that plate is crazy because it's just the same block but mm -hmm. with a spacer plate on it. It's wild. And the anyway. other thing is there's some weird seepage. It didn't make it all the way through, but there's some weird seepage going on all the way up to the edge. Mm -hmm. It's like, yikes. Um, so is that just like the cast its prime gasket? Or well, that... everything's pretty fresh. Those guys did a fresh job. Um, the heads are a little too carbony for my liking for an injected right, you want engine. To look at that head. Yeah. I'm gonna, whoop, I'm gonna eat shit here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Show me. Show me this head. So you see the carbon? Carbon's one thing, but this is a heavy buildup. Okay. And you can see down here on the valve stem. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good shot. There, yeah. It's a little too much. Yeah. So either guides weren't dealt with or... So, let me ask you something. Is it possible that this car was not driven hard enough? Yeah, it's very possible. I mean, I think because, like, I, when I drive it, you know, I let it get warmed up, I, and then I, I wind it out. You know, and I, and I try to get some heat built up in the cylinders at Absolutely. least a couple of times, you know, a drive, right? Yeah. But the owner before me who had this car for 10 years, he, he didn't really drive it very hard. It got loaded on and off of a lot of trucks for for And shoes. that kills you. That kills them. And, and, and it is what it is. Like, it's, I'm not, you know, yeah. it's, it's, I'm not blaming the guy. It's just like, you know, you taught me that the Italian tune-up is a very real thing, and if you don't <laughs> run these old Italian engines very hard, you end up with right. this type of carbon buildup. But you had this engine after they had done 
or they had completed a yeah, this said, valve job. This, this engine had a valve job right when I bought the car. So, so that should have been. So, so this, this is all me, me you're saying. saying. This is all in, you. In theory. Right. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe I'm, I'm not driving, driving it hard enough. enough. Well, when I'm done with this thing, you're going to have a base, relatively fresh Countach yeah. with an engine, with a fuel system that works, that's delivering everything. When I circle back around and I, I go to get to your fuel system, I'll go through every injector, make sure everything is absolutely copacetic, you know, okay. nice spray pattern, etc. Right, so we got some carbon on the, on the valves, but these valves can be cleaned. They don't need to be replaced, right? No, I don't think they're new. Because these are the good valves. Like, Lambos came with those janky valves. They all needed valve jobs. Yeah. So these are the these are well, the Well, you've modern, got lots of meat. Yeah. yeah these, these are the there's modern your margin. replaced valves. There's your margin. The little shiny area right behind it is the face, or the cut. Yeah. So you've got a lot of meat, and the face is way up. The face hasn't come out to the edge. Okay. And in your so you have healthy valves. You got okay. lots of life left so in the valves. Good. Okay. okay. What, what about, about you sent me photos of the camshaft that had a stain on it? Yeah, What's that's going to that be about? this one. I can't really. You got to come on this side. Okay. I'm going to eat such shit here. <laughs> yeah, without <laughs> Jack. Instead of where my feet are going. Uh, these are all timed. Yeah, weird stuff like this. And this. So I mean, it's have, very strange. It looks sort of like a stain. Yeah, it's stained, and then you've got a weird little color difference difference on the edge. Mm, like it's starting to scallop into the metal. Okay. Like this one's not so bad, but you kind of see it. It's actually in the face. You see that weird little yeah. wash? Yeah. And then... So what do we do? I mean, this we, stuff, it's weird. Do we take the, the cams out to be re... I don't know. Did you ever stop by uh, Iscadira? The shop is yeah. there. I didn't go in. Oh, I thought you were going to stop by. Yeah, I've, I've been doing things. But, um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh, is that who we would, who we would find? To, I would talk to them. You know, I still have phone calls to make yeah. to talk to my Lamborghini people. But that doesn't mean these aren't like trash, right? No. Okay. They're, they haven't deteriorated, imploded, or, okay. you know, completely undermined their uh, metal. Okay. All right, cool. They're not into so, layers. So now back over here, have you taken this head off yet? Uh -uh. Okay, so this, this is, we're gonna this is we're gonna look inside this time. I think Trevor, I think we need another hand here. We're gonna look inside this one for the first time. Always helps to have a very Always large. That's how they did it at the factory too. Uh huh. I think that was it. <laughs> yep. Oh, there we go, coming off. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Lift your engine just a little more. Put yours down. You gotta come off even. Yeah, it's so long. Oh boy. Oops, there we go. Hey, look at that. Oh, it's a head gasket. Okay. Don't drop the head. Ooh. Don't drop the head. All right. So let's see. Here is another bank. And this is uh, this would be the right bank, passenger side bank. I think that's now look, these valves, B bank. These valves have a lot less gunk on them. Just right. The ones I can see and anyway. remember when we looked at the ports, the ports were uh, the ports were off. From right. one side to another. Right. Okay. So one bank was running better than the other one. Yeah, richer. Okay. So what do you, what do we see inside of here? Again, super mirror. mirror and this uh, one you've got a lot of lines going straight up and down. Yeah, this one the glaze the cross hitch is like gone even. Real-time Real -time discoveries here in my engine. Yeah, Time we're live. Timing chains in here. <laughs> Timing chains look pretty nice. Yeah. Those are in good shape. Yeah, they're a bitch. They weren't linked, so <laughs> I was hoping to take them apart, but I had to drop them in there. Uh, um, okay. So, so what, what do we see on one side versus the other here? Look pretty symmetrical this, or? No, no, no. You can see it. Wow, cool. 
So you've got a flat area here where it's not so glazy. Yeah. You have a glaze going straight up and down here with lots of scratches. Uh -huh. This is a very weird burn where this is more uniform. Again, stuff like this. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's too, it's too shiny. Okay. Well, and we're here, break the glaze. Sure. Have a nice, fresh, nice even, fat. even compression. And what about on the, the camshaft over here? Do we have the same? This one of... might have been the one with the weird. With the weird stain? Yeah. Well, it was a few of them. Yeah, see, this is more, this is less carbony. You have yeah. carbon, but it's a little more indicative of a injection engine. Yeah, see, this is this is normal. That, that one just wipes, wipes off a lot yeah, easier. Where that one is actually caked in there. Yeah, yeah. This one's a little cakey, but yeah, a lot less. Okay, so so, so basically, we need to. Yeah, see. Yeah. Oh yeah, you just wiped it right that, off. That that's that's valve guides or or seals on the valve guides. That's a bit too much oil. I it mean, should be a little. It should be a little less oil. We've only put like. 5,000 kilometers on this car since it had a valve. Okay, and here's one more thing. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but you see the face of the valve is all the way to the very edge where my fingernail is. Okay, so what, valve adjustment? When, and then if you look at this one, you have more of a fat margin at that edge. I don't know. So usually, okay, you have your valve. Yeah and you have your, your angle coming off of the edge of the valve. Well, you have the top of the valve, a, a bunch of meat, and then you have the valve face that then continues on to the stem. That valve face should be as close to the stem as possible, relative. It shouldn't be all the way out to the edge because you need that meat for cooling, for all the other effects that goes on in a combustion chamber. So if that valve face is all the way out of the edge, it's going to start to bring the edge around. It won't tool up a valve, although that happens. But it's it's too close to the edge. Right. Okay. I should I want I want a little I want a little line mm -hmm. before that comes to the edge, and okay. I want meat there. Okay. Because as I was saying, if you cut if and I've had them so cut so many times that this edge is so razor thin. Mm -hmm that one, there's no meat to compensate or absorb the heat, thus you burn a valve. Right. And so the valve is totally inefficient. And it's also it's super sharp, like you could shave with them. But um, Italian engines run oily, which is cool. But this is just a hair too oily. Okay. So anyways, they're off. I want to have them checked out. Okay. Valve guide, uh, valve guide seals. This I'm taking apart and I'm breaking down the crank and I'm, you know, we'll replace all the bearings with fresh bearings. Hopefully nothing's in there, nothing weird. Can't wait until you take it off the oil pan and we'll see. Yeah, what's in the oil I want to see what's in there. That'll be fun. <laughs> Goldfish. Okay, any, anything else you want to share about the car? We've got some, some lines you're making over here. Yeah, that's for a Ferrari. Different car? Okay. Um, nothing. It's, 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 very right, nice. So clutch is good. So that's your good clutch is good. Your is pressure, good. your pressure plate is most likely good. Okay. Um, the chain. Chains are good. That's a nice. That's a pretty nice looking. Yeah, the chain is fresh. Clean looking chain. And see, there isn't a whole lot of of, of you know, wag. Yeah, yeah is that? Yeah. So that's like good. A bracelet. You don't want too much slop in that. Exactly. Yeah. I always like how they have this this floaty sprocket system. Maserati's had them, everything. It's like, wow, you guys are nuts. Interesting. <laughs> cool. But, okay. Um, well, we will come back when we have more. Yes. All right. Thanks, Donnie. Now, of course. Thank you. Now I'm going to drive my Ferrari home. Yes. Hey. <laughs> and remember, always fight your tickets. Use code TST10 on the Off the Record app available in the Android and iOS store or go to offtherecord.com slash TST.